Hey, my name is Mason. I'm going to be giving you the full walkthrough on the 2022 Confluence 24BH. We're going to start here on the front end. First things first is we got our power tongue jack. You got up and down, which will also be used for leveling front to back. You have a little light when you're hooking up in the dark. Moving down below, you got your coupler. Lock that in place when you're on the ball and secure. Got your two safety chains. You want to make sure you're crossing those when you are hooking up, just in case you lose the trailer. You got your seven-way pin, which is going to control lights, brakes, and also provide a charge line back to your batteries. You also have your breakaway cable. You want to make sure this is hooked up at all times, just in case you lose a trailer. It's going to engage and activate those trailer brakes. Got your two propane tanks, four and a half gallons a piece. Got the automatic switch over regulator in the middle. You can also choose from each side. Moving on, you have one battery rated for about a day's worth of camping. One thing we do recommend is to add another to extend your stay out. Got your pass-through storage. Got your power cord, 30 amp coming in. One thing we do recommend with these guys are surge protectors to protect you from low power surges and high power surges. Up on top you have your fresh tank fill. Stick a hose in, fill it up till it overflows out at you. Moving down below that you have your city water connection which is if you're at a KOA or a campsite you hook a hose in line with a water pressure regulator. Moving down below here you got a stabilizer jack on all four corners not meant to level the trailer just meant to stabilizing. Leveling will be done through the tires and the power tongue jack. You got your slide out, you got these rubber seals on the outside. You wanna make sure you're keeping those UV protected from the sun. One thing we do recommend are slide toppers to keep you off the roof and keep you from sweeping off your slides every time you do go out camping. First things first, you have your black tank flush, which is gonna activate a sprinkler on the inside of the black tank and wash it out as it goes down. Moving just down below that, you have your 30 amp cord where it's gonna plug in. Down below, we got our wastewater holding tank and our sewage holding tank. All of our pull valves are located up on the frame. You want to make sure you're pulling your black tank first and then switching the hose over to your gray tank to wash out your hose as it goes down. Got the rear bumper which acts as a sewer hose storage. You can store those in the back. Got your satellite and cable prep. If you're at the KOA or a campsite, you can run those coax cables in. Moving on up, we got our rear doorway camera prep. Just down below here, you got your spare tire. Got your water heater. Couple things with this guy. Got a pressure release valve up on top to release the pressure in the system. You have your electrical element on and off switch, and then you have your drain plug, also known as an anode rod. You want to make sure you're checking that rod at least once a year, making sure it looks good. Got your outdoor shower. If you want to hose off the dogs or your feet or the razors, whatever you need. Got the outside kitchen. You got the 110 fridge. Controls inside. Just to the right here, we have our outside grill. Take this out, set it up. And then you have your propane line. Take your propane line, quick connect it on the back end, right into down here, which is gonna supply propane to the grill. Got your entry door, with your grab handle, lift up, pull it to the side, open her up. Got our screen door as well. On the confluence, we have the nice solid steps, which store nice and easy in the door with just an easy lift. Got the other side to the pass-through storage. Open it up with a magnetic latch on top. Got some nice lights in here. Lock it up before you go. And you have your Furion solar charger, plug and play solar. Last but not least on the outside, we do have our awning all the way extended. We do have our pull down to adjust the pitch. So if you have a rainy day, all the water will slide off on this side and all the controls are on the inside. First thing is, as we walk in the door, we have our monitor panel, which is gonna tell us how to control everything. First things first is our LP gas of our water heater. Moving just down below that, you have your electric side of the water heater. To the right, you have your water pump and your awning light switch, which is your LED strip. Got your interior lights, your awning extend and retract, and then you have your slide out in and out. Just up to the middle here, we have all of our tank leveling. Fresh tank, our batteries, our black tank, and our grays. Just down below that, we have our tank heaters which will need to be clicked on at any time below freezing. Got a light switch in the bedroom. Moving on up, you have your TV backer location where you can mount a TV and you have your satellite and cable hookups on the outside. Got some underbed storage in this guy. And then you have your outlets and USB ports on both sides for you and your spouse. Moving on into the entertainment center, we also have our thermostat, our Coleman Mach. All the way to the left for cool, one over to fan, 
off, and then heat, which is gonna run your furnace. You have your temperature on top and your fan speed on the right. TV is on a swing mount, which opens you up to your satellite connection, which is already hooked up for you. You can go in, run a channel scan, and it's gonna pull from your local channels. Got your dinette set located in the slide out. This also conforms down into a bed by pulling your two table legs and setting them down onto the rails. You also have two bins of storage down beneath that come with the confluence. Into the kitchen, you have the nice sink with the cover. Got your storage, lots of storage. We, all are, we are also pet friendly with our dog bowls. On up, you have your stove top, turn to light and spark it. Same thing for the oven. Turn to light and spark it. Going up, have your fan and a light. Got your travel cover. You wanna make sure you're closing this every time you do decide to get up and go. Got your fridge. Got controls on top and your cooling fins in the back. You wanna make sure you're putting your small things up on top and your big things on the bottom, allowing the air to circulate through the fridge better. Freezer. Got your double bunks with the USBs on the walls for the kiddos. And down below you have some storage, also could be used for the dogs, for a dog crate, chairs, any other camping accessories. Got your shower with the curtain. And then you have your toilet all the way down for a flush, halfway down for a fill. You wanna make sure you're using RV rated toilet paper and enzymes at all times. That'll wrap it up on the 2022 Confluence 24BH. For more information, check us out at brettsrv.com. 